Hey, my friends, got a special 11 pound rocks this um this week. Um, these are mostly done for um, the Montanas I had done for Clint, and um, I'm a couple of months ahead on my regular 11 pounds, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. Video. I'm gonna send them to Clint, and then wait a while before I put the video on. I want him to get them before I put the video on. These were just the other rocks I had done with them, and these are the Montanas for Clint. They came out pretty nice. Some of them I cut um, in three or four pieces. Some of them I polished whole. Got some nice ones. And they took a monster polish. We're going to take a look at a few of them. See what y'all think. They had some really unique pattern ones. This one here had a lot more lines on it before I started polishing it. But they still... Well, some of them stayed on. It would have been a lot... A lot nicer looking, but you have to you have to get um put that polish on them, so you're gonna lose a few of them. But those lines look pretty cool. I like that look. This one's kind of plain, but the other side was solid white, or most of it was solid white. I think I polished most of the white off of it. Still got a little bit left on. I got like three of them like this where they were white. That's a cool piece. I thought it might have been piece a piece of pet wood um petrified wood, but it's got, it's got holes in it, like wormholes or something. I don't know. It's really a cool piece, though. Still got a little agate face on it, too. I don't know, but it's cool. Mm, this is a really cool one. It's um, it's really rough, and I was never going to get it um, really smooths down, so I'd have to make it into a marble. But um, it's got something there that, you've, uh, that you don't see too often, I don't think. And that's green moss floating in it. That's pretty cool. I like that. Yeah, that green moss is really cool. It's hard to, I don't know if, I guess you could pick it up on camera, but that's cool. This is another plain one, but you gotta try them, you never know. Sometime a big old agate face will pop out on them after you, after you um, grind them down a little bit. This one here, I really like that um, pattern on it. That was That's pretty cool. That is really nice. It was, must have been a big giant one that broke apart because the other side is pretty cool too. And again, I was never going to get that smooth, so... Yeah. Just put a good polish on and let it go. Okay, this is a four-part one. It didn't, the outside wasn't too crazy looking, so I figured I'd try and cut it up. It looked like there's a lot of stuff on the inside. So what y'all thinking on this one? Oh, wait, I keep getting confused. This is not stutter dud, but y'all could play it long anyway. Yeah, well, I think this is going to be pretty cool. I like that pattern. I don't know what it is, <laughs> but that is cool. And it's like that the whole way through. Some of, them, just, some of them are just a little better than the other one, but that is cool looking. I didn't want to give you this one, Clint, but I guess I got to, huh? <laughs> I like this one. I think I might have messed the video up a little bit, but I might be able to fix it. Here's another one. This one's really cool. It's a little one, but nice pattern on it. This one I cut in half. It looked like um, it had some water lines and stuff on it right there, so outside wasn't crazy or nothing, so I decided to cut it in half. And you got a few water lines on the inside. That's not bad. I like it. All right, this one here, the back side was totally white. All this was solid white. I figured I'd just let it go and see what happened. Um, most of the white came off except in, inside the, 
the little holes and stuff. So, but it still looks, I don't I think it looks pretty good. Even with the little white on it, you know, because that's a good looking rock. I guess I could be showing them to y'all with a little light behind them. Nah, it don't make much difference. And got another little piece here. This one's pretty cool. It had more pattern on it than before I started tumbling it, but it happens. And I like that look. That is pretty cool. Alright, this one's a pretty cool one. Got a little agate pattern on. A little bit right there. And there's a nice agate face in it right here. That's a cool one. That is nice. Alright, yeah, this one here. I couldn't cut it. It had a lot of cracks on it. And I um, just wanted to try it. It's got some kind of tube looking stuff here. I don't know. Almost looks like a root system or something. But, um, yeah. It's pretty cool. I said it's got a few cracks, but I like it. I like that part right there. This one, kind of plain, but took a good shine. All right, this is a big one. It was a little dark and maybe a little milky looking, but um, I took a shot at it anyway and see what happened. Um, I don't think it's horrible. I mean, it's not, it's not great, but it's pretty cool. And it's got a monster shine, so I mean, that's pretty cool. I like it. This is another one. It was too thin to cut, and the backside was solid white. And again, I, I just left it on there and let it polish off as much as it could. And it got everything and stuff in the holes, and everything came off. But I don't know. I think it's a pretty cool looking rock. I don't know what that is right there. It's sticking out, but that's cool looking. I like it. All right, this one here I cut into three and see if I can find some pattern on it. And we didn't find a lot of pattern. But. Yeah, it's. Nothing great on that one. Hey, got a cool looking little end piece here. I cut off of one of them. And then this one went to the one with four pieces that was on earlier. All right, got another big one, and this one's a three-parter. Kind of dark, but looks like it's got some polka dots in it. And it does. That is a really cool piece. Did the light will help that one in it? No, not really. Kind of dark. It has stuff in it, definitely. That's pretty cool. I like it. And then this would be the second piece. That is nice. I like that one. It's got a tiny water egg, water water line on it. And this is the end piece. Well, you got a definitely got an agate face in it. This one's kind of plain on top and bottom, but it has three agate faces on the side. That's pretty cool. I like that. That is nice. Hmm. Pretty good. I like it. All right, this one here's got another little snowflake looking to it. It's got um. 
some water lines. Nothing crazy on the outside, but the other side had a big quartz face on it. Which I think is cool. Some people don't like that, but uh, I like that. That is cool. Yeah, that's going to be nice. Alrighty. I got this one here. Again, not too crazy. I like the outside. It's pretty cool. Not bad. But the bottom is cool. It's almost got like it's got a clear jelly um, over the top of it. But the size is really cool. It's got water lines everywhere. That's nice. I like that one. That is really cool. Well, I'm going to get these off to Clint, and I'll be able to put the video. I ain't going to put the video on until after he gets it. So probably next week I'll put the video on. But, um, yeah, that's a nice lot of rocks, though. I like them all, but I got to send them to him anyway. <laughs> Thank y'all for watching. Like and subscribe.